part two of the Tuliki River Pass deals with the first half of the northern ascent. The first three switchbacks are tight and steep and have been concreted to aid traction. This first section of the pass is very steep and gains almost 60 meters of altitude over just 300 meters. At this point the concrete gives way to gravel and soon the first intersection will appear. The road leading away to the right follows the northern side of the Tsurihi River via a long contour road to the village of Hatube. Keep going straight here to remain on the main pass. As altitude is gained, the views open up on the left, revealing dramatic views of the river and its canyon. Lesotho is one of only three enclave countries in the world. It covers an area of 30,000 square kilometers and is situated in the Maloti Mountains. The inhabitants of Lesotho are known as Basotho and they are about 2 million in the mountainous country. An individual person is known as Mosotho. At this point the road actually descends briefly as it attempts to get around the nose of the mountain. The Situ boasts having one of the highest literacy rates in Africa. About 85% of the population of adults in Lesotho are educated. At the 3 km mark, the road curves sharply to the right as you enter the chicane section where the road climbs through a double hairpin set. Be aware that these corners are very tight, two of them requiring full lock turns for larger vehicles. Lesotho's high literacy rate can be attributed to the fact that Sesotho was amongst the first African languages to develop a written form. The country gained independence from Britain on October the 4th, 1966. A third easier hairpin is encountered at the 3.8 km mark as the road tracks into the east-southeast for 0.7 km still climbing steadily. The views change with every corner taken. The Sutu's flag is a blue, white and green striped tricolor design. Blue stands for the sky or rain, white for peace and green for prosperity. 
At its center is a black silhouette depicting a traditional Basutu straw hat known as a mokorotlo. Be sure to watch part 3 and the final video in the series on the Tuliki River Pass.